Hey guys, this is Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Curried. Today, let's make something classic, classic prawn tempura. Let's begin. For prawn tempura, we need slightly larger size of prawns. What I've done here is I've already peeled the prawn, I've washed it nicely and cleaned the vein. The next step is to cut this tempura style. Now, this is something very specific to a tempura. What I'm going to do is take the spine or the backside of the prawn and give it light few gashes like so. Do not go too deep in because that will break the prawn into pieces. You keep it like so on the base of the board and pinch it lightly with the help of your thumb. What we are doing here is actually breaking the muscles of the prawn. What this is also going to do is apart from just breaking the muscles of the prawn, this is also going to make it nice and elongated so that the tempura becomes longer than usual. We need to be extremely careful while doing this because we do not want the piece of prawn to break into pieces. What will also happen in this case is that the prawn will not curl and cook faster than usual. So this is how this eventually looks. But what I have done is I've already cleaned, washed and kept the prawns ready in the freezer in a zip pouch. Well, I personally like using zip pouch because one, the material is food grade and two, because it locks in the strong smell of seafood. For the tempura or fritters, we need the prawns to come down completely to room temperature. So let that happen and in the interim, let's make the tempura batter. For this, I've taken refined flour to which I'm adding in cornstarch. Cornstarch in this case is added so that the tempura batter becomes nice and crisp. Let's season this with some freshly cracked black pepper and along with this, some salt as required. Let's give this a nice mix. Well, there are various ways of making a tempura batter. What you can do is you can whip in an egg white and you can fold it in. You can make this with chilled water. But the step and method that I'm showing you now is adding in aerated water. So let's do that. We do not need to add in all of it together. Just add it in parts so that the batter does not become extremely liquid and runny. What happens with the addition of aerated water is that you do not need to add in any additional aeration or leavening. Give this a nice mix. While we are mixing the tempura batter, what you could also do is simultaneously heat the oil in a kadai. The next step is to remove the prawns from the zip pouch. Dip each prawn single like so and transfer this in hot oil. Well, precisely after two minutes, we need to pull the prawns out of the hot oil and transfer these on an absorbent kitchen paper. With this, your quick and easy prawn tempuras are ready. And trust me, this goes amazingly well with a sweet and spicy dipping sauce. And try this to make your evenings much better. Bye for now.